Good Sunday morning, everybody. Good Sunday morning. Welcome to Sunday with Spirit, not political poll. For those people who are joining me new on Sunday, it's a spiritual poll. I like to think of us as a community coming together. And I like to think of us coming together in a circle that never ends. We can join this at any time to raise our vibration, raise the vibration of the planet. Because we need it these days. Yikes. So I've been struggling with this one today. Um, just because of all the stuff that was going on last week. And I think about it and I go, well, it isn't any crazier than any other week. It just hit me a little harder, I guess. And I don't know why, but it did. So I may do, I may do this in two steps. We'll see where I go with this, how long I, how long I talk. I want to talk a little bit about forgiveness. And then if I have time, maybe we'll go to the healing dome and just hang out there for a little bit. There are so many things that need to be forgiven for so many people. We had the Pope going up to Canada to ask for forgiveness. And there were certain people who were not real happy that he was giving, he was given um, an indigenous headdress. And when I got, when I saw that, it kind of took me back a little bit. And I thought, that's, that's not right. But who am, I, who am I to say? It's not my place. But that's what I thought. And it felt like it was just a media thing. If it was done privately, that may have been something a little different. I don't know. I don't know. The respect that was needed, I didn't see it. And uh, you can't because it's a 30-second blip. If that might have been five seconds. So I don't know. But I thought about it. I also thought about the vets. How do they forgive our government for not standing up to them, not supporting their health care? And the list goes down, goes on and on and on. I mean, I was also thinking about, so oh, anyway. It doesn't matter what I was thinking about. Let's look about, let's look at forgiveness. I'm going to drop this down and you can see what I got going here. As I normally do, it's kind of a cross. Okay. So these were the cards I pulled last night to go to bed. And I'm using my... Shaman's Dream Oracle with this. In trying to wrap my head around this, it's so easy to face the West direction and use water and say, okay, let those, don't hang on to things that no longer serve you. It's easy to say that it's so hard to do. And so as I was thinking about it, I pulled these three cards and I said, help me figure this out. And I got Feast of Plenty. 
I go, what? Choices and their consequences. And I went, their consequences, not mine, it's theirs. Well, it's the choices that we make and their consequences. However, the two swords sticking into the white globe, the two swords seem to indicate, you know, the, the vet's war. It's, it, it's their consequences. It's not mine. Is that what I was getting? But it feels like something is going to happen that's going to repair that. And he, the next card I got was Metox, repairing the mind, sorry, repairing the body, mind, and spirit. So I immediately went and took a bath. It was nice. Metox. And when I thought about this with repairing and I flipped that over, I'm like, oh, wow. Okay. So the other thing that drew my attention was that little spark right there. The little light being coming from, from the surface a little lightning bolt coming from the surface. And then the third card to make this all make sense to me was gathering around the power of community. So as we each do our own interpretations of this, how do we wrap our heads around the act of forgiveness? The act of letting something go that doesn't serve us anymore. It's been so painful that we carry so long with us. How do we let that go so that we can be live a full, rich life? Well, we need to be around like-minded people. We need to have our community that we get to hang with and they get to not pull us out of the funk, but surround us in a loving atmosphere to allow us a little bit of osmosis. So we get to absorb some of that positivity of the community and gently, slowly, quickly, I hope, release some of that harmful energy. It allows us to get into the bathtub and metox, mind, body, and spirit to get us whole again. Because the decisions that were made have consequences. Sometimes we pick up on their consequences and we don't need to. They need to deal with this. Not me. So that was the cards I got last night. And I wanted to pull some fresh cards today. To see, just ask the question, what is it? How do we let go? How do we say sorry? Gandhi, it's, it's said, when he was assassinated, that he forgave his assassinated, assass, assassin before he died. And it was quick. It was like, anyway. Wow. How does one do that? 
how does one let go of the injustices? And this feels like, you know, it's those two swords stuck in, in this ball of light. It's like there's going to be consequences for what others are doing. Let somebody else take care of it. So I wanted to take a look at, the, I'm, I'm rambling, I think. I wanted to take a look at, um, to try to get some clarity. So I'm using the shamanic oracle deck. And I got patience and planning. When I don't understand that, patience and plan, patience. I mean, I get that. That's kind of like this me talk sitting in a bathroom, bathtub, just cleansing, just getting clean again, just letting that go, patience. But I didn't get about the planning. I go, uh, this, what, what are we planning? So I pulled the clarifier. Angels and guides. We need to trust our angels and guides when we're in these dark places, when we're having patience and going, when is that going to, when are, when is that going to change? When am I going to be able to let go of the hurt? Patience. Trust your angels and guides. Plan for the future. Plan for something positive so that we're not in this dark, dark energy. The angels and ancestors card, which I thought was interesting that I got angels. <laughs> Warrior. Be fearless and strong. Wow. Wow. And letting go of this. It's not easy. We have to be so strong. We have to be a warrior for peace, a warrior for love, a warrior to stay in the light and not have swords puncture and damage our light. So the other group of people, people, listen to me, that we've offended are the ETs. I was listening to Dr. Stephen Greer on a podcast. He was talking about Roswell and, you know, whether you believe in all that or not. Um, but he was saying that that if we have shot, he says we have shot down ETs and spaceships and things like that. And if we have, then we need to, um, you know, we need to be more respectful and we need to ask them of forgiveness. And so how does that work with ETs? I got the planets, Saturn. Now this card, the key word is wisdom. This is all about moving forward in spirit, in the power of community, with love, with your angels. This is all about taking Saturn's energy of being positive, being a light worker, and moving it forward, and encircling, and encircling the, the, the challenge with rings of love and light. The path forward is all about staying in service to light, to love, to servicing the community. 
and being strong in that belief because it's easy to fall into the, oh, that shouldn't happen. Oh, I need to hang on to that hurt a little bit longer. I need to really feel that knife being stuck or that sword being stuck into my light bubble. Nah, trust your guides, have patience, but still be the warrior. It's not going to be easy. We're going to still fall back into that. All right. I'm going to pause this and then I'm going to take a little break, get recentered. And for those who want to join us in the healing dome. So for those of you who are new to the healing dome, it's all about intention. It's all about using your imagination. It's all about play. So as we sit in our rooms, our houses, I invite you to take a couple of really deep, slow breaths. Listen to the rattle. As we take deep breaths, we want to call in our guides and angels, our personal guides and angels, our departed loved ones. Archangel Michael, Saint Germain, Mother Mary. Special guides, Abigail. You have your list, call them in now. And as we stand up, we walk out of the room, out of the house. We open the door and go through a mist. In this mist, we let go of our egos, we let go of our hurts, we are bathed in love. And we walk through the mist and find ourselves on a trail, on a beautiful place in nature. And we walk down the trail. And we see this crystal dome. This crystal dome has two guardians, making sure that only the good enter, only the positive. You can't have any past hurts. We can't have any past nudges. There's a big bowl. By the guardian's feet. We ask you to put all those in the big bowl. As you do, empty your pockets. You become lighter, happier. And the guardians give you a special light robe. They help you on with it. And as soon as you put it on, you feel a tingling sensation whirling all around you.
and you enter the healing dome. And you see a fire in the middle of the dome. You see loved ones welcoming you. Ascended masters welcoming you. They invite you to sit in a chair or lay on a massage table. And when you sit down or lay down, you feel the hands of an angel massaging your neck. Massaging your back, massaging your legs. Then they massage your scalp. And as they're massaging your scalp, you feel a golden, white light. Radiating from your head. And as they're massaging your head, you feel something on your feet. There are little fairy folk massaging your feet, washing them. They're laughing, giggling. making comments on your strange feet. They don't have feet like you do. And there's a lot of laughter. And as we take a moment, just to feel the peace, the love that our massaging angels have given us, the fairy folk have given us. And our minds ask, what can we give back? And the word that you hear is forgiveness. to go back to the rattles calling us back. We stand up and look around and we see the circle glowing. Everybody's glowing. And as we walk out of the dome, Guardians allow us to keep a robe of light on. And we go back up the path. 
after the mess into our rooms. And we slowly open our eyes when you're ready. Wiggle our hands, our toes. Thank you all for joining me on this Sunday with Spirit. Peace and love. <laughs>